You may have noticed the little free libraries as you wander through the neighborhoods of Greater Victoria. Perhaps you even have one on your street or maybe you put one in front of your own home. Veronica Cooper decided to learn more about these homemade book exchange boxes. Ken and Sonia Beswick load a few more books into their little free library. And here's another one smaller. that series. Okay. In Fairfield. There we go. That's, That's perfect. A good one. Put that one in. That's a good one. Basically from little projects I had in the past, I had enough stuff to build six of these, so I, <laughs> I built one anyways. Sonia's uh, background is uh, a bit of Ukrainian. We have a little Ukrainian village house in uh, the, the style, so I copied the roof style. He started putting it together and I was very proud of all the different things he added to it with the little dog and the flowers and the just the wonderful roof and the colors he chose. <laughs> He's very talented. So at the Greater Victoria Placemaking Network website, we have a map of 360 plus little free libraries around town. And we've built that really organically. So part of it was me cycling around, noticing new little libraries. And then part of it is folks reaching out to us on an online forum to say, I built one or my neighbor just put one in. I've even got a Rubbermaid container already full of books that have been donated to, to put in here. So um, as it goes down, I load it up. So Victoria has the highest density of little libraries in Canada. And Teal has turned to Twitter to create an online community with his Rutledge Park Little Free Library. And it tweets pictures of its books every day. And it's connected with little libraries around the world. When they had flooding down in Texas, my little library reached out to that one and said, hey, how are you doing? Are you, you, know, are you keeping your books dry? And that one responded, oh, I'm in a plastic bag. I'm doing well. So you had this great interaction between two non-sentient online entities. And just a few days ago, a children's author from the United States mailed her book to me so we could put it in our little library. And that's really, to me, the magic of little libraries. There's a website, and uh, if you want to record where you are, you uh, fill it out, and then he is in charge of that. I'm number 350. We're already up to almost 360. Learn more or build your own LFL at victoriaplacemaking.ca. Little libraries build community. They connect people. They create a hub for folks to meet, for people to connect, and not just around books, but just around meeting folks and talking. And whether that's online or in person, they're absolutely magical pieces of placemaking. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.